and it is week four of January and I'm so excited for today. All month long we're learning about wisdom, but this week we're learning about knowledge. How cool is that? Now, before we get started, you're gonna need three things. Your Bible, something to write with, and something to write on. Go get those things because we're gonna get started right now. Everybody on your feet, because it's time to play Who's Older? The exciting game show where you have to decide which animal is the oldest. You can make your choice by holding up one or two fingers, depending on which animal you think is the oldest. If you get it right, stay standing. But if you get it wrong, you can keep playing, but please take a seat. See if you can stay standing all the way to the end. Let's get this party started with the opening round of Who's Older? All right, it's time to decide. Hold up one finger if you think the turtle lives the longest, or hold up two fingers if you think it's the giraffe. All right, let's find out who's older. Looks like the giraffe can live to be 28 years old. That means the turtle can live longer than that. So we'll see him again later in the semifinals. But right now, let's see our next two animals. Hold up one finger if you think the zebra lives the longest. Or hold up two fingers if you think it's the seahorse. Time to find out who's older. Ooh, looks like the little seahorse only lives to be about six years old. So Mr. Zebra has moved on to the semifinals. Let's check out our next two animals. What do you think? Which one of these two can live the longest? That's it, time is up. The raccoon lives to be about 13 years old, but the cardinal lives longer than that. So he's advancing to the next round. Ooh, we've only got two more animals to look at before we move on to the semifinals. Vote now, which of these two do you think can live the longest? That's it, let's see who the winner is. Looks like it's the rhino, even though the beaver can live to be 20 years old. Let's move on to the semifinals. What do you think? Who can live the longest, the turtle or the zebra? Time's up. The zebra can live to be 30 years old, but the turtle can live longer than that, so he's headed to the final round. Let's see who he'll be facing. Vote now. Which of these two do you think can live the longest? Time is up. The cardinal can live to be 22 years old, but the rhino can live even longer than that. Now, the stage is set for our final round. What do you think? Who can live the longest? The turtle or the rhino? Time is 
is up. Let's see who will be our grand champion. The turtle! Even though the rhino can live to be 40 years old, the turtle can live to be a whopping 120 years old. Thank you all so much for joining us today for another exciting round of Who's Older? Hey, Sissy Kids. Today, I'm gonna tell you the bottom line. Knowing the truth can help you make wise choices. Great job, Sissy Kids. Kids, it's Stephanie here, and if this is your very first time hanging out with us, you're a VIP. That means you're a very important person. You're gonna wanna click the I'm new to TC Kids link below to let us know. We can't wait to keep hanging out with you. What's up, TC Kids? This month's memory verse is Proverbs 2, 6. It says, the Lord gives wisdom, Knowledge and understanding come from his mouth. All right, let's all say it together. Proverbs 2, 6. The Lord gives wisdom. Knowledge 
and understanding come from his mouth. Good job, TC kids. All right, guys, it's time for our Bible lesson. And this week, we are learning all about how Jesus was tempted in the desert. All right, you're going to want to grab your Bible, your friends, your family members. We're going to get started and lead into the Bible story. Let's do it. Today, we're in the third book of the New Testament, Luke. But before Luke, in the very beginning, out of a deep, deep love, God made an amazing world. But when people turned away from God, the world was broken. God made a plan to bless the whole world through one group of people, the Israelites. Over hundreds of years, God spoke through prophets about the great rescuer God would send. And at last, God sent a tiny baby to be born in the small town of Bethlehem, God's very own son, Jesus. When Jesus grew up, he was baptized in the Jordan River. God spoke from heaven, this is my son, and I love him. I'm very pleased with him. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey, Erica. Hey, everyone. So Jesus was about 30 years old at this time. After years of studying God's words and quietly working as a carpenter, now Jesus was revealed to the watching crowds as God's son. It must have seemed like the perfect time for him to start teaching and doing miracles and gathering followers, but that isn't what happened. Instead, God's spirit led Jesus away from the crowds and towns and into the desert. For 40 long days, Jesus spent time with God, preparing for what God would have him do next. During this time, Jesus ate nothing. He focused on God as the one thing he needed above all else, but he wasn't alone. Not quite, because the devil showed up to distract him. You must be so hungry. Surely God wouldn't mind if you had just a little snack. Jesus was God's son, but he was also fully human too. And as the 40 days passed, he became desperately hungry. The devil refused to leave Jesus alone, needling and tempting him at every opportunity. At the end of the 40 days, he offered Jesus a large, smooth stone. If you really are the son of God, tell this stone to become bread. It must have been so easy for Jesus to imagine that rock as a crusty, warm loaf as God's son. He had the power to change the stone to bread in an instant. He could have torn off large, chewy pieces to satisfy his deep hunger right away, but Jesus knew every word that God had spoken, and he was ready with an answer. It is written, man must not live only on bread. If that's the way you want it. But the devil didn't give up. He led Jesus up to a high place where the whole world appeared to spread out beneath them. Every powerful kingdom, every palace, every throne and ruler on earth. The devil smiled, smooth and seemingly in control. I will give you all their authority and glory. It has been given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. If you worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus knew that one day he would rule all the nations of the world. He had come as God's rescuer, but to take this easy way the devil offered would destroy God's plan. Once again, Jesus spoke God's words. It is written, worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. The devil was seething. He couldn't tempt Jesus into taking the easy road, but he had one final shot to try. The devil led Jesus to the city of Jerusalem. They stood on the very highest point of the temple itself. The worshipers below seemed small as ants. If you are the son of God, throw yourself down from here. It is written, the Lord will command his angels to take good care of you. They will lift you up in their hands. Then you won't trip over a stone. The devil wanted to trap Jesus, to make him panic. Does God really love you? 
prove it. But again, Jesus had God's own words at the ready. Scripture says, do not test the Lord your God. The devil was furious. He couldn't trip Jesus up no matter what he tried. So at last, he left until he could find a better chance. When the devil was gone, God had sent angels to take care of Jesus and provide everything he needed. Jesus had spent his whole life discovering God's words and spending time with God. And so when he had to make some tough choices, the words were right there. Today, you can make Jesus the leader of your life, and you can do it by praying a simple prayer with Ollie and me. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna ask you, if you would, bow your heads, close your eyes, and repeat this prayer after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus. I believe he lived. I believe he lived. Died. Died. And rose again just for me. And rose again just for me. Today, Today I give you my life. I give you my whole life. Change me. Change me. Renew me. Renew me. Transform me. Transform me. I'm yours. I am yours. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yay. And if you just did that prayer, yeah. we want to be the first ones to say, Way, way to go. go. We are so excited because now you are part of the TC Kids family. That's right. And with that, we have three steps for you to follow. Yeah, step number one, we, Alejandro and I, want to know that you just prayed that prayer. So there's a link right there. See it? It says, I choose Jesus. Click the link below and let us know that you just prayed that prayer. Now, Ali, we've got step number two. Ready. Step number two. Yeah. And you might be wondering, might be. how can I grow my relationship with God? That's we have great. two single, simple steps. Mm -hmm. One, read your Bible. Yeah. The Bible is full of amazing stories that tell you the story of God. That's right. And the second one is simply prayer. And prayer is simply talking with God. That is so good. Oliver. And step number three. Okay, that one's on me, right? Step number three is you're now part of the TC Kids family. So we need for you to like, we need you to subscribe and continue hanging out with us because we are going to have tons of fun and we love you guys and we want to make sure that you're with us each and every week. So come back and see us again. Yay. You're the ah. Uh, That's right. You're the ah. Uh, okay. You're the ah. Uh, All right. B uh, B. Listen, you guys. John. I don't know if I have any more beats, but what I do know is that if it's your very first time checking out TC Kids, that means that you are a VIP. VIP stands for very important person. And guess and what? That's you. Yep. That's true. That's you. You can click the link below that says I'm new to TC Kids, and we can't wait to meet you. I cannot wait! Okay. <laughs> TC Kids, we have had such an incredible time with you today, but our time is up. But make sure you go like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing of what's happening in TC Kids. TC Kids, never forget, we love you, God loves you, and we will see you next week.